so it's Monday morning and we're getting back to work. Uh, had a had a few days off last week, went to the GIE. I'll talk about that experience a little bit later on in this video. Uh, but for today, we got to get things going. We got to get things uh, ready for the week. I got to figure out what the guys got done last week, what they didn't get done, and uh, kind of see what's going on. So got about 30 minutes till the guys start showing up. I'm kind of uh, kind of rejuvenated a little bit. I, as most people are, I think, they go to the GIE, they kind of talk with people, they get to uh, you know hear stories, business stories, all that kind of stuff, and it kind of motivates you to kind of get your butt in gear a little bit. That's kind of the way I am this morning. So uh, we're gonna throw on some jams. We're gonna try to get some stuff done. So we are loaded up, we are ready to go. Uh, the guys are off, got them lined out for the day. And uh, we got a couple jobs to go do. We're gonna go check up on the guys later on. I do have to make a pit stop over at Grass Monkey Lawn Care's house. He does have a YouTube channel. He's here in my town. He's got a walker mower question, so I told him I'd stop by sometime today, take a look at that for him. And uh, yeah, let's get going. We're, we got a busy day. All right, so I told you earlier that I had to go help uh, Grass Monkey uh, look at a walker. Uh, so I called him up. I told him, hey, I got a couple things going on. I'll meet with you here in a little bit. And he's like, hey, uh, I could really use your help right now. He got a mower stuck in the backyard. So uh, luckily, he's kind of right by where I'm at. So we're going to make a little detour and go help him out real quick. Howdy. Dennis, what the hell are you doing, man? Getting stuck in mud. Man. Getting stuck in mud, huh? Yes, sir. Well, top notch to the rescue. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta put you on blast here. Nah, ain't that bad. It looks bad, but <laughs> what I would probably do is I would just level this out, put some dirt in, I'd go get a few pieces of sod. too bad 
But uh, it just goes to show it happens to the best of us. Front looks pretty good. Good job, grass monkey. Now it's on to the park to uh, see what's going on with the guys. Uh, apparently they had the uh, 61 diesel, they ran it out of gas, they put gas in it and uh, they're trying to start it and they said it doesn't seem like it has enough power to, uh, to crank over. So I'm going to take some jumper cables and uh, see if we can't get that thing running. Alright, so I went and bought a new battery so we're going to try to switch this battery out real quick and see if that doesn't fix the problem. There's plenty of fuel in the fuel filter and all that, so uh, yeah. this probably just needs to needs me turning the key a little bit more. So, how would you guys like to edge that with a string trimmer? 
Well, she's trying to start. Uh, we never got her started, so we just brought her back to the shop. Got a couple guys finishing the park right now, a couple guys here at the shop with me. Uh, just kind of getting things organized, getting things straight. Uh, my main man, Marshall, over there with the blower. I don't know why, but I like that guy. Still haven't figured out why, like I said. He's just one of those guys that kind of grows on you. Even though he's a Broncos fan, I, I, I can't get over that fact. Maybe it's because we kind of go back and forth a lot about the Chiefs and Broncos. Maybe that's why I like them. So, anyway, just another fun-filled day. Uh, I'm a, I've got this one hooked up to the uh, battery charger. So, just ran it out of gas and can't get it started again. So, I'm going to go look at the manual and see uh, how to prime it. See what I need to do to uh, to get it started. I'm sure we just got a lot of fuel in the line or air in the line, and uh, hopefully we can get it back running because we kind of need it. 